freezing transformations. We do freezing transformations when we like where the rotation of the object is and we want it always to be that way. So when you first make an object, um, you know, you're kind of at the mercy of where you're scaling it, where you're moving. Like, let's take, for instance, this. I have a new object out here. If I scale it here, I'm very happy with the length being this way. Okay, because I made it that way. Notice, however, it has a scale in here. If I ever want to get rid of that scale and keep this as scale, I can go Modify Freeze Transformations. Now, if I scale this object, but I go back to 1, it goes back to the shape that I chose for the Freeze Transformation. That stands true for everything. If I have an object and I have it rotated just a little bit, and I like that rotation, Modify Freeze Transformation allows me to keep that rotation. Anytime that I mess it up, I can hit zero, and it'll fix it to that rotation. You won't necessarily need to know how to do that for the assignment, but just pay close attention that I did something to this assignment that I will show you here in a little bit that made it so when you you can go in here and zero out the rotations but when you zero out the translates nothing really functions um, it actually just leaves the debris where it's at so you can selectively say what do I want to freeze if I go modify freeze transformation square box you'll see that I can choose to only freeze translate or only freeze rotate this is very helpful sometimes in that you know I have an object and I move it over here okay and if I want to take and zero out that that's what will happen. So now let's say I move it somewhere else in the scene and I type in zero, it'll move back to the original spot. Okay. So sometimes ver you, you can use that trick, uh, especially when you have larger scenes or big buildings that you're managing and you put the building in a certain spot. Sometimes I'll modify freeze transformation on the translate. That way if I'm ever moving the structures around or messing with them instead of trying to carefully put that object back in its spot I'll just zero it out again something more advanced that you probably won't need for this assignment but uh, know it's there and available to you alright let's move on to the next video